Welcome to another Olive Skin video. So in today's video, I'll be going through my top favorite or the best lipsticks, lip liners, and lip glosses that have some beautiful mauve brown nude shades to them that are perfect for fall and winter and can really complement your olive skin tone. Now you can either use these products on their own or you can also use them in combination with other lipsticks and other shades in order to find the perfect shade for yourself. In this video, I'll also be giving you a demonstration through application and swatches of all the products and each of the shades so I do hope that you find this very useful and if you're after some red or nude lipsticks best suited for olive skin tones then I do have a video as well for each of those um, that I can add links to the description of this video if you're interested in watching that you can watch after you've finished watching this video. Okay so I'm going to start with the lip liners because I do like applying lip liners first. The first one is the MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down. So this one is best suited for you if you are a medium shade of olive medium to light shade of olive so this color has like a nude brown shade with a slight um, orange undertone to it at least that's what it looks like on my lips and how it appears it could look different on you if your complexion is a little bit different so for your reference um, I do use the Mac studio fix fluid foundation in the shades 20 and 20 NC 20 25 and 30 just depending on the season okay so this is the little strip down so this one is a strip down all over my lips with some lip balm underneath. Okay, so the next lip liner is the MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. As you can see the difference, this one is the strip down and this one is the Cork. So this one is a brown shade, which I would say is darker, like a shade darker than the strip down. So it would be best suited if you are a darker shade of olive or if you're after like a dark brown lip uh, look. So this one is the Cork lip liner. So I'm sorry if the lip liner application is really messy, but this one is the cork. As you can see, it's a lot um, darker brown. Then I also have this lip liner from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Exposed. So this one is a lot lighter than the MAC lip liners. It is like a nude brown with an orange undertone, um, but it's really light. So it would depend on if you're going for a very light look or if you are a light olive. So Kylie Cosmetics Exposed looks like that so the Kylie cosmetics exposed does look similar to the cork but I'll apply it on my lips and show you it is a lot lighter so the Kylie cosmetics exposed does look similar to the strip down but I'll show you in a second it's a lot lighter see how this one is a lot lighter Again, I'm sorry if my application is really messy. It's definitely lighter than the strip down and that's what it looks like with just the lip liner all over my lips. So the final one is the MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. And I will talk about this beautiful shade when I go over the lipstick version of the shade because it's the same. Okay, so moving straight on to the lipsticks. The first lipstick is the MAC matte lipstick in the shade Whirl, as I mentioned before. This shade is a classic and I've been using this for many years now. So it is the perfect brown shade with a hint of mauve or burgundy that really complements olive skin tones. Okay, so that's the whirl on my lips. That's the whirl as a swatch. The second lipstick is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi and this is what it looks like. This one has a more orange brown mm. undertone to it. Okay, so this one is the Abu Dhabi in NYX. The Abu Dhabi here by NYX. The second is the same NYX lipstick but in the shade London. And as you can see, London is just a slightly, um, slightly bit lighter than the Abu Dhabi. Next one is a London. So this is the London. This one is the London. The fourth one is again the same NYX lipstick. As you can tell, I really like these shades, um, especially for fall. So this shade is in Stockholm. Again, it's very similar to these other two lipsticks, but the Stockholm has like a pink undertone to it. So if that's something that you prefer. And although it has a pink undertone, it's still in fitting into that nude brown category. Okay, so that one's the Stockholm. 
The next lipstick is the Moisture Shine Lipstick by Nude by Nature. For me personally, I do have to mix this in with another shade or like with the plain beige or nude sort of shade in order to tone it down a little bit and to achieve the right shade. For my skin tone, just so you're aware, but I'll show you what it, how it applies. The shade of this lipstick is in Dusky Nude. This one is the Dusky Nude by Nude by Nature. It definitely has a more pink, maroon, mauve um, undertone. Dusky Nude, Nude by Nature. The next lipstick is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick. Again, in the shade Exposed that came with the lip liner. And this one is definitely a light to medium brown shade. Um, this one is the Kylie Cosmetics in Exposed. As you can see, it's going back again to that true brown, medium brown shade. The Kylie Cosmetics in Exposed. Okay, now if you want to add a bit of shine or juiciness to your lips, I like to use some lip glosses on top. And for the lip glosses, I can recommend either the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which is awesome, in the shade Ice, or the Mecca Max Gloss. It's the Boss Lip Gloss in the shade Cool It. Okay, so now we are on to the lip glosses. So... This one is the Lifter Gloss. I really like this gloss. And, and this one is the Gloss Boss. It has a tiny bit of a color to it. So just like a tiny bit of a beige color to it. So that's what it looks like. Also, if you're not aware, I've also been uploading a lot of YouTube shorts lately on various other topics as well as makeup. And if you're struggling with stress or anxiety, I do have an Instagram page called The Stress Counselor that's full of free information, tools and tips to help you manage them. So I will also be starting my practice as a counselor at an organization as well as my own online business called The Stress Counselor starting in January 2023. So whenever my website is ready, I will add a link of it down to the description of this video but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video